Good day, Grade 12s. Welcome to this first lesson in Week 21. In this week, we will be doing electric circuits, and I would truly suggest that if you haven't seen electric circuits and don't remember them very well, that you go back to the Grade 10 part and go look at the electric circuits in the Grade 10 because it will give you a good revision for what you're about to do. In this lesson, we're going to be looking specifically at a new concept called internal resistance, and then we're going to apply this internal resistance to series circuits. Welcome to our series on electric networks, grade 12s. Today, we will start with the concept of internal resistance and then we will do a problem with the circuit that contains resistors in series. Let's start off with the term load. This refers to the total of all the external resistance in a circuit. In addition, the term V load or volts load refers to the EMF of the cell or battery. The EMF of a cell is the maximum amount of energy which the cell can supply. However, cells, just like other components in an electric circuit, have a resistance. This resistance is known as internal resistance. The existence of internal resistance is found when we measure the potential difference across the cells. If this is less than the EMF of the cells, it is because of the internal resistance of the battery. Let's look at a demonstration. These three cells each have an EMF of 1,5 volts. When these three cells are connected in series, a voltmeter across them should read 4,5 volts if there is no internal resistance. However, as we can see, the reading on the voltmeter is less than 4,5 volts. This tells us that the cells have internal resistance. In an electric cell, the EMF is constant due to the chemistry of the cell. However, work is needed to overcome the internal resistance of the cell. This causes energy to be lost as work is done. It is felt as heat energy. We can calculate volts lost which equals current times internal resistance R. So, the charges do a small amount of work to overcome the internal resistance of the cell. The circuit diagram represents this internal resistance in the cell. The small drop or difference in the EMF is called V lost or lost volts. This means that to apply Ohm's law, V equals I times R to circuits is more complex than the simple substitution of the correct values for V, I or R into the formula. So just to be clear. The passage of charge through the cell and the internal resistance of the cell account for this loss of energy in the form of heat in the cell. From this, we can derive the equation EMF is equal to terminal potential difference plus lost volts. EMF equals current times external resistance plus current times internal resistance. Now let's look at how we would use this equation in a calculation. A circuit consists of a battery with an EMF of 18 volt, a resistor of 4 ohm, and an ammeter which reads 4 ampere, all connected in series. Calculate the internal resistance, R, of the battery. From the question, we see that EMF equals 18 volts, the load, external resistance, equals 4 ohm, current equals 4 ampere, and we need to find the internal resistance, R. Let's substitute this into our equation and solve for R. So our internal resistance equals 0, 0,5 ohm. So in summary, grade 12s, in this lesson, we have discussed internal resistance and applied the formula to a series circuit. You will also find more information about electric circuits at www.mindset.co.za forward slash learn. Remember to try some of the questions in the task video as well. Goodbye.